Let's Hello everybody yeah. and welcome to the Thursday video and the one that everyone's been asking for. 10 bolo brands that sell fast. They sell lickety quick. They sell for will. a decent amount and they sell fast. Mm -hmm. Everyone get them cheap enough. Yes. Everyone wanted us to kind of stray away <laughs> from brands that you haven't heard of and go more towards like brands that are like really quick selling. So that's what we're gonna do for this one. We were able to come up with 10. And we're going to tell you right now. So Ryan's going to okay. pick it off with one Sorry. that you guys probably know. Okay. Uh, cut to the clip. Dance goes. <laughs> Anyone want some dance goes? Anyone want some dance goes? You should always want dance goes. You should. As long as they don't have any dry rot in them. Um, I don't know why or what in the making process leads them to dry rot. But if you find them, over. just like twist them a little bit. Because it's like inside the shoe. Um, I can just sell mine. The clog, like classic shoes go for like 30 to 35 typically depending on the like pattern if you get a better pattern are. you could even get up to like maybe 40 or I sold maybe for, even 45 i sold a pair for 80 and yeah. like the highest but they were like new they had the box in them they were super like classic black and they were some like really expensive and style. if you can so, find like, men's men's does a lot higher too like 60 ish google them if you find them just like dance go whatever the pattern is like clog yeah and just see what the like name of it is because people especially like nurses and stuff Look for like specific, um, like names of them so they can like do hospital. Things. I'm not like a huge fan of dance goes because no, kind I think of they're a pain they're in ugly the as sin, but like, store, but like they do usually sell. So for fast. a lot of money, so not like, like a lot of money, but like a decent amount. I'm and they good sell amount. fast, so like it's, don't pay up for them. It's good honest work. Like definitely get them at the bins, and if they're or get them a good enough, well if they're like four ninety nine and under yeah. and in decent condition. If they're like toe up from the flow up mm -mm. and then obviously if they're the more rare patterns like you could pay up a little like eight or i was something. gonna say seven or eight but don't go higher than that the boots the boots i'd pay like eight or nine tops for because the boots do like 45 to 50. clean them up a little bit okay number two on our list is one that i've sold quite a few times Spanx. Um, Spanx are boring. <laughs> Spanx don't really look like something special, but I they always expensive they're they are. so oh my God. expensive and they always get tons of likes. They are they go fast and they sell for quite a bit. I've had I think one pair of just plain black. I've had one pair that was like velvet that little did I know was also sold at Anthropology. Didn't know that was a thing. No. They That's still sold thing. not even listed under Anthro because I didn't know. And now I have a pair of skinny, like distressed jeans which they're like Spanx jeans they're like, like pajama jeans but like higher quality that. like pajama jeans hot sister but like the jeans retailed at like 118 <clears throat> and so i have listed for like 90 and they're doing really good but yeah Spanx always <clears throat> if you price them well they sell really really fast mm -hmm. and they get a ton of attention so even though they're boring don't what do they call Spanx. that drive traffic i mean yeah. to drive traffic to my store except they go fast so they don't they don't drive a whole lot of traffic, but they drive a really fast <gasps> traffic through the store. Just like one car, one car that's just like speeding through. One like a little one, just <laughs> okay. Anyway, she just crafts her spanks. Just <laughs> she's in like a smart car. <laughs> okay. Anyway, next on our list is one of my personal favorites. It's Chacos. <laughs> First, I'll let Ryan talk about this one because I haven't found any. So if you don't own a pair, do yourself a favor and buy them. Not just, like, to make money off of, like, for you. They're good for your soul, and they're good for your feet. Oh, they're so comfortable. Okay. Um, I love them. I sell them all the time for lowest is 40. And that was when, like, straps were kind of worn, and they were kind of beat. I always do good for them. Clean them up a little bit, though, because a lot of the times people, like, wear them hiking, and they wear them outside, so they get a little dirty on the footbed. Just make sure to, like, you know, wash them up a little bit. Make sure the straps aren't dirty, too, especially down by the feet. Um... But no, I sell mine for 45 to 60. And the, the and he always more, sells them really fast. The, um, oh, I can't think of the word. The more, like, colorful or the more patterned the straps are, the more they're worth. I think it was Nicole State, maybe, who had a pair of the, um, Grateful Dead Chacos. And this is worth a little bit money. But I sold a pair of, um, Cherry Blossoms for, I want to say, 60. And I listed them at like 85. Number four. Those lines, sorry. Is Everlane. A lot of you might know this one too, but some people might not. I don't know. Um, Everlane sense. does really good. 
and goes really fast. I found a pair of Everlane shoes at the bins. They got like 20 likes within like six hours. Is it those loafers? Yeah. And then they for sold two. within 24 to 48 hours for like 80. For a decent time. They do extremely yeah. good. My mom has sold them a few times. The clothes Dang. is really good too. It doesn't like sell for like a ton, but they sell for like mm -hmm. 30. Like 25 to 35, somewhere in there. And they sell fast. Um, Everlane's really popular because they are not part of the huge fast fashion thing. Mm -hmm. They're very known it's for being very like mm -hmm. well made with like good practices. But and they're stuff. still really expensive. And so it's people like... really like them for that reason. Mm -hmm. And they're like really good quality. The shoes are like made in Italy and stuff. Like they're nice. Um, they're yeah. soft. My sister wears Everlane a lot. So I always She's get Everlane. Lucky <laughs> Okay, next is a good old pair of Birkenstocks. I feel like if you ever see me in public, I'm in Birkenstocks or Chacos. Accurate. Because that's all that I ever wear. Um, these, I they're kind of, like, finicky. I know the sandals, like, a lot of the time when you find them, what do they say, out in the wild, they're, like, destroyed. Because, like, you... Especially in the bins. People, me included, like, you beat them into the ground. You ha I've had mine since I was a sophomore in high school. They look like they've literally been through war they look awful the bin pickers they will get pairs that are like been run over by a car my, and they'll sell them for like 25 or 30 so i mean like i do know though that like if you do find them for like i'd say under five price them lower because people a lot of the time are willing to like go get the um you can get the cork replaced on the top and then you can get the sole replaced in the bottom so if you do find the sandals that are like like she's been she's been through it. Don't don't pay up for them. I know a lot of thrift stores tend to price them kind of high. Yeah. But especially they got for the boots and shoes. I sold a pair of the boots. They were like a bigger women's size, which I think was good. And they were leather, and I was able to kind of like you know, ooh, excuse me, clean them up a little bit. And I sold them for seventy bucks. Number six is Lou Lou Lemon. This one I feel like is controversial since a lot of people always like Lulu. I don't know why everybody hates Lulu. Like, ooh, calm down. Like, it's Lulu, Lulu is popping for us still. I mean, like, I Asterix, give you the tank tops. I was gonna say, I'll give you that, <laughs> like, the racer backs and the power Y tanks, not as good as they used to be. Definitely still some of oh, the tanks you can that still do, do easily really good. get 20 bucks out of yeah. that. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Easily. Um, but, like, the shorts. The leggings that aren't wide, oh, like God, wonder no. unders, any kind of like jacket or wrap or sweater. Yeah. The like scubas. Oh, those like hoodies. They sell. Like they sell great. The day you list them, as like especially the shorts and the wonder unders, like. Oh, those gone. just fly out. They're out. Those weird ones that like. Yeah, in the flow. They the sell the like crowd. all That's that good. Lulu stuff sells. Fast it's and it's well so expensive, us. and like it is, and people love it because I mean I get it. It's really comfortable. <laughs> I love mine. I, I have, love Lulu. I like, have a pair of Lulu shorts. I got them on clearance for twenty nine dollars, which is, I think is the cheapest thing in the store. And I literally wear them almost every day. Same. They're so. If my Lulu Lemon shorts are clean in my drawer, like that's the ones I like gravitate towards. They're and so I feel like that's how it is for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but like if you can find Wonder Unders and shorts and scubas, they sell. So fast. Pick the tank and tops up, but like a lot. Don't pay up for them. Yeah, mm -hmm. the tanks would be the only asterisk, but I'd still get them. Just don't pay too much yeah. and don't price them too high. They just mm -hmm. don't sell for as much as they used to. And I feel like anything that like is an older style, obviously like take with a grain of salt. Like you know, if it's not, I get that. Like if the brand's really popular, but if it's like a style that isn't really gonna sell well, then like I really wouldn't. I wouldn't pay up for it, or I wouldn't like. I even sold one Lululemon leg warmer <laughs> within like I a forgot few you hours of listing it. I mean, it only sold for 15 <laughs> but like you probably in the store, it was probably a pair of leg warmers for like 15 And I sold one for 15 I think there was 28 of that them. That day. Say. Which is like, so weird. So Who wants one leg warmer? Lulu like, is not dead. Next is Longchamp. <sighs> My mom is a diehard Longchamp fan. All she has is Longchamp bags and a variety of people that use colors. Longchamps. They only use Longchamps. Only use Longchamps. People like Janet. Either you're like indifferent or like 
like you would die for long jumps. These, a lot of the time, thrift stores don't know what they are. Make sure they're real though, because there's a lot of those like. Look for the little plastic tag. Where, you, where the zipper unzips to, I believe it is, that okay. side. This is a beat up one that we just use for packages. Um, where'd she go? This is what the real tag looks like. It's just this teeny little plastic, like, little tag in it. And if the interior snap has a little, like, bat on the back, ring around it. You can look it up. It's actually really easy to authenticate long jumps. Yeah, it's and not that And the guides hard. are really, like, they're helpful for like designer bags it's one of the but long shops always do super well and, and they, they sell for quite a bit yeah and they're really amazing. easy to clean you literally throw them in the washing machine don't throw them in the dryer and they're like but they're really new. expensive they're so, so they nice. sell really well for quite a bit they're 150 and for a nylon tote especially so like, if you find a backpack i have a backpack she is beyond repair but like i love her those like they sell fast and for a lot i they found do. one it was new with tag um it sold Brutal. the same day got like 15 likes and it sold for like 120. so yeah it's Get, good check those check where your thrift stores put like like luggage bags yeah or like totes mm -hmm. or whatever they usually put them with like all the like cheapy like the like tj maxx bags yeah. to people donate so okay number eight is Tory Burch, which a lot of you probably know, and it's true. Like Tory Burch sells mm -hmm. for a ton, and it sells so fast. Like every style, everything. Like clothes are maybe a little slower, but like the shoes, the bags, the bags, the wallets, the SLGs, like everything, all that stuff sells fast and for a lot. It's expensive, and she's really popular right now, so like... She is. She's extremely expensive. Which, like, why? Well, like, I have a pair of Tory Burch boots made of, like... Oh, Lord. Sheep's wool. She and, like, always uses an the most, like, rabbit. like, extravagant materials that she doesn't need to. Yeah. Like, but I found a pair of Tory Burch wedges. Like, the style wasn't super in, but, like, they were, like, brand new condition, basically. Oh, yeah. The and they were really cute. Mm -hmm. But, like, wedges in general aren't, like, always super in. No, not super trendy. But yeah. they sold within probably less like, than a week. Was, and they like sold for days. 120. They're worth a lot so, of money. So, yeah. Tori does good. I'm sure you all know that. But, like, just in case you don't, get Tori. Pick and she is worth She's worth paying, paying up, up a little bit for it. Not, like, you know, an ass that I do But, like... Yeah. 20 minutes. Maybe just stray away from some of the older clothes, which the older clothes have... It's a big orange big tag. Big orange the blue logo emblem. tag. The newer ones say her name. And the flats and the flip-flops aren't doing as good as they used to. Flip-flops? <laughs> but I mean, like, flip-flops shouldn't do good. It's crazy that they used to. Like, literally, no. you used to be able to sell her flip-flops for, like, $50. To which makes bucks. no yeah. sense. For a foam flip-flop. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> okay, next is Johnny Wise. Another one. An obvious one. I'm sure like, everyone knows. But like, again, it's ooh, true. He's so, for no reason. I literally cannot find a reason why Johnny Wise is so expensive. But it sells. It's just cotton. So fast. Yeah. And for so much. Granted, some of the older, I have an older style like button down listed right now that like I really didn't think was going to fly out of the door. But like, you know, But if older. it is that true boho style stuff, like, it does so She's good. gone. She's or if it's out from the door. Johnny was LA line. He has a few lines if you didn't know. Okay. So what about JW we LA? He has like one that just says Johnny was. He has Baya, B I Y A. Those all do insane. There's the Love and Liberty. For Love and Liberty. For Love and Liberty, which super is super really, really good. And then there's one that's like. His older one is 3.1 3. 1 Workshop or Johnny, something. Like Workshop. Johnny that one doesn't do as good. And like, it's sometimes a little cheaper. That's his older. That one also comes in plus stuff. size, if you didn't know. Yes. And yes, he does. has one. You'd have you'll have to look it up because I don't know this. It's like two men's names. It's like Gretzen and like Tim. I don't know, but he has hmm. quite a few lines. Look it up and try to like memorize them because like they don't all say Johnny was in it. So the work the three point one workshop. We stuff didn't even know what that was. Doesn't say Johnny was at all. No, I knew it because I heard it on. 
someone else's video and I was like, <gasps> and it was in the van, so like, even if it wasn't. Still I, get it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The like 3.1 in that stuff doesn't like, again, not like as fast or as much, but I would still get it 100%. 100%. So, Jeez. yeah. And last, number 10. So underrated, no one ever talks about it. Mm -mm. But if you see it, snatch it. It's not expensive here in the States. Lug. L U, is it two G's? Let's find out. I feel like it's one G. But Lug, it's like canvas, it's like Kipling, or nylon, not canvas. It's like quilted usually. They're like travel bags for people going on trips. It They're like just weekenders. Yeah, L U G. It's just Lug. Lowercase L U G. It's a mom They're purse. literally, they're like Kipling's or like kind of Bagolini style Or like a little stuff. sports type. Little It's sport. like, somebody put like, it's like the Powerpuff Girls scenario where there's like Kipling, Le Sport. And Lug. And no, there's, what's the other one? Kipling, Le Sport. Bagolini. And Bagolini. And they just like dumped them into a vat and then like Chemical X. And mix them like, together and Lug just like froze. Yeah. But Lug, any, I've had it like three or four times. It like, I mean, it doesn't sell for like, a ton. Like, you're not gonna, you know, But if you, you get pay the classic, like, puddle jumper, I think it's called. Oh, those sell names. for, like, 45. Oof. I had, um, a bag that was called Best. an Airbus. Yeah, they have, like, traveling bags. I advertised it in the description as a perfect bag for moms. Because that's what the QVC <laughs> website said. And the woman in her review was like, I have nine kids, thank you so much. I was like... <sighs> but they well, anyway. go... Anytime my three I've had sold, like within the week I got them. They're, Two of the three were, like, the day I got them. And they don't even need to be in, like, pristine condition. No. Like, you know, obviously, like, with... Because people are going to beat them around Yeah, anyways. like, with anything, like, you know, make sure there's not, like... Like, it's a not falling hole. apart. But, like, you know, if it's, like... Like, mine had, like, dirt on the back, and there was a zipper pull missing, and it was, like, you know, some of the corner wear, and she's like, I love this. So, yeah, don't skip out on love. Mm -mm. And be sure to... Again, that might be in the same section of the thrift store as Longchamp. Just kind of like... It's like suitcases. It's yeah, like they like think travel it's like luggage. Or like Because it's not like a things. purse. Mm -hmm. But yeah, get love. And that was our 10th one. So that's it. Oh, 10 Bolo brands. Look Tell out. us if you learned a new brand from this. Because yeah. hopefully you did. Because, yeah, these are all like golden brands to pick up. At least for now. I mean, like, not all brands stand the test of time. But mm -mm. for right now, all these brands sell really fast and really well. They do. So let us know if we taught you a new one. And if you've... What tell us, quick let us know if you've had any you. bad luck with any of these brands. Because, like, Ooh. for us, these have all done really good every time we've had them. Mm -hmm. But maybe for you, they don't. But, yeah, thank you for watching the video. Give us a thumbs up and a subscribe. And comment below. And thank you. Hopefully we'll have a What's on Saturday. This Saturday. We'll I be we in will. Minnesota. But we'll try. It's fine. It's, it's okay. We'll, we'll, we'll try. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye. Goodbye. And for all of you that are going to complain that you didn't see Mike in this video. He was sleeping right after the sound. It's because he's just laying in lesions. Right, Mike? Mike. He Come says, on. Mm -mm. It's very hot out and humid. Like the past four days, so Mike has been relaxing.